Our Time to Sing is a film about the power of musical performance to transform our lives. In this sample reel, we will spend one day, December 21st, 1985, with John Wolfe, a dentist and member of the New York City Gay Men's Chorus. Yeah, and I'm glad you came to the concert, Uncle Jim. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Okay. Crazy. My Uncle Jim and Aunt Sue came to the concert on, on Wednesday. It was really nice. And I just couldn't believe that they came. I, and, well, you know, I, basically my mom came out to them, you know, for me uh, about a week ago because she was uh, in Dallas and they were planning, they live in Dallas, and they were planning on all coming back to New York. And um, I said, Mom, you have, you know, tickets to, to, to see me. And, uh, and she said, well, what are we going to do? And I said, well, bring them along, you know. I think that they would really like it. I think it's time. And actually what I sort of forced her to come out because I called her in Dallas and told her that um, I had news for her, um, two, um, two you know, items of information that she might be, she might really want to know about. And I left this message on my uncle's machine. So he got the message. So he wanted to know what they were. One of them was that I tested negative. And the other one, which was very good news, and the other one that I was getting kicked out of my office um, for because I treat AIDS patients. And so um, uh, when she got, when I talked to her, of course, the minute she got off the phone, she, you know, they wanted to know what was the news. And so she basically you know, said, you know that John is gay. Oh, yes, we've known for a long time. And, um, and so she told them. So that was sort of nice. And I sort of forced the issue. John, do you want coffee? No, I'm, no. I wouldn't be able to hold my music if I had another cup of coffee now. Thanks. I was given notice to vacate my office from my landlord who is also a dentist i rent space from him his receptionist got wind that i was treating aids patients a patient would call and say i'd like to see a dentist i have aids and she reported this to dr barton and he flatly said no aids patients can be treated in the office i'm afraid of losing losing my staff losing my patients and um, that's the end of it uh, of course, that embittered me. I was very upset, and, uh, you know, I have found a new space, which I'm moving into in a month. Even though I'm a pragmatist, in some respect, I'm sort of an idealist in others. not in the chorus. He never really are makes me feel guilty about the time that I spend away from him. Those are black. Those are good. Are they? Mm -hmm. They're not even a pair, but no. nobody will notice. I think what we both get out of the relationship is a sense of stability and a definite sense of love. We love one another very much. Whether we're in love with one another, sort of puppy dog head over heels, I think that that probably has dissipated somewhat. Is it? I don't know what it, do you think it could be, look and see if you can see what, it's, it has to do I think with the class. We've gone through a lot, we've gone through a lot of stages of growth, shedding insecurities, becoming closer, becoming more intimate, becoming more able and willing to share emotions basically, share what's going on in your thoughts and uh, your life. But we close our jackets anyway, so I guess that's... So you're wearing red ties today, then? <laughs> you just... <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. Make Hello. it look a little... <laughs> Wait, no, move. Thank you. Look how pretty these pants are. Christmas well, Sins. Yes, if you wouldn't need so much. In the March ready. concert, they'll fit. Let me get the phone. Okay. Yeah, please, for the machine. Get it quickly, quickly, please. Ready to go? But the course is is definitely an outlet. It's an outlet for 
Well, singing is an outlet. Music uh, evokes so many emotions and, and uh, sort of enables you in to express those emotions. Sometimes you never really express them. You never really realize you had them. One thing that we as the chorus and the audience really share is pride and of course a sense of community, a sense of togetherness. There has got to be a little sense of the community in the face of adversity, whether the adversity is the homophobia in society, the homophobia within ourselves, AIDS. stage singing about some of the things that I believe in or to entertain, to be appreciated, to have a camaraderie with the group. It's been one of the most wonderful things that has ever happened to me.